Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show, and welcome back to another beer review. Uh, today is part two of our three-part series where we are trying out beers that have been fermented or stored or cellared in a oak or barrel of some kind, uh, whether it be a bourbon barrel, just a standard oak barrel, or in this case, a wine barrel. Uh, this is Love Buzz, and this is from the Anchorage Brewing Company out of the great state of Alaska. And this beer weighs in at 8% alcohol by volume. And this beer is a Saison with Bretonomics, and this is called Love Buzz. Uh, this beer was brewed with spices and has been aged in French oak Pinot Noir barrels, which is basically a red wine barrel that's been used before for wine, obviously. And they put this beer in there to ferment and to mix together to hopefully create a tasty treat that we will try out for you guys today. Um, so the Anchorage Brewing Company, I've never had anything from them before, um, but if you're curious about this beer and some other things that they uh, may make, they have a anchoragebrewingcompany.com website that you can check out. And uh, just the, I'm just going to read the commercial description real quick here on the bottle. Um, it reads, an ale brewed with hops, or Hobbs family rose hips, peppercorns, and fresh orange peel. This is dried in a, uh, let's see, a load of citra hops, triple fermented, first in French oak fondres with a saison yeast, second in a French oast pe or oak pinot noir barrel with brett anomics, and then finally in the bottle with wine yeast for a natural natural carbonation taste. It says enjoy. Um, it recommends that this bottle or this beer is drank out of a tulip glass. Um, close enough, we're going to go ahead and go with the uh, Belgium Libby glass here today, you guys. Um, and then this beer also has 40 IBUs. So there's a lot of other good stuff on here um, that you guys can kind of read over or go on their website and check out because it's got a long description. Um, if you want to pause, hit the pause button and kind of just read that on your own, you guys can. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get straight into the bottle here, you guys. Uh, a nice big old rose. Probably should have done this review closer to Valentine's Day, as it seems to be a little bit more fitting. But this is a Saison, you guys. This is a farmhouse-style ale. And uh, I am excited to try this with it being in the um, those red wine grape barrels that uh, that they talk about here on the bottle. So this, bo this bad boy is uh, corked and caged, so we are going to have to pop that open. And while I do that, um, I will let you guys know that this bottle was picked up by um, over out there by Duneside Liquors. So if you guys have a chance to head out there and check out their awesome selection, I would say go ahead and do so because this was there. Um, and again, I think in the previous video we talked about how some of the extra steps that go along with um, making a beer that's been made in barrels of some sort, whether it's bourbon or wine or just standard oak barrels, um, you're going to have extra steps in there. And those extra steps are definitely going to cost you a little bit more money because you got to pay someone. Ooh, you got to pay someone to do all that stuff. So this bottle was twelve fifty, and. Uh, what do we got here? This was one pint and 9.4 fluid ounces. So pretty good sized bottle here, but you know, your cost is definitely gonna be in the stuff that's bourbon aged, barrel aged, you know, anything barrel aged. Um, it's gonna have that price point and it's gonna be a little pricey. And also with this one coming over from Alaska, while it's still in the States, it does need to ship from, you know, through Canada or come on down through you know the west coast there into california or washington where it gets then distributed out to you know all of us here in the mainland so there's definitely going to be a price point with these barrel aged beers and this is just one of those this is 1250 so um, if you guys want to drop the money on this one you know try it you know go ahead and do it um, again this is the first beer we've reviewed from anchorage so i'm kind of hoping for a nice tasty treat uh, but we'll see. We'll see what we have here and we'll get into it. So let's get into it. Um, we're going to go ahead and pour this into the glass, you guys, and get started. 
It's got a nice golden kind of color to it. Looks good. As I pour it, it looks thin, just like wine. But uh, yeah, it's definitely got that carbonation there. You can tell with all those all those bubbles coming up. So we'll leave the glass there for you guys to kind of check out. And uh, this coming Sunday, you guys, will be the finale of our three-part series. And uh, stay tuned for this because I think it's been a cool little series we've been doing. Um, I want to try and put together some more, you know, three-point series, you know, videos for you guys to kind of check out. Um, I mentioned in the last video with the, let's see, the Yorkshire Stinger, how there's a lot of beer companies out there who make fruit flavored beers or fruit you know fruit styled beers uh, whether they're sour or just straight up fruit flavor so I want to maybe put something like that together for you guys but we'll see where we go with that um, just got to see what's available around here and what I can get my hands on and then there's also just some new releases that have been coming out from some of the local states um, up in Michigan Illinois has got some good releases coming out this year and over the next few months so I want to try and get my hands on those and review those for you guys so we got a lot of different stuff coming up I just gotta figure out what I want to do so alright anyway back to the love buzz um, what do we got here we have a nice looking straw colored almost looks like like I said almost just like a it looks like wine when it was pouring out but it's just got that nice dark or not dark but lager kind of Belgium style color to it very light you know color on the sides and it's very thicker in the center uh, thicker brown or gold in the center and then uh, your head there probably about a half a finger ahead nice soapy bubbles very thin body it looks like so that's what we have for looks let's give it a whiff that smells awesome uh, definitely your farmhouse style lots of apples maybe a little bit of raisins in there um, it says it's got roses in here so we'll see maybe if we can pick that up um, I don't really smell a lot of that right now maybe that's orange peel like it mentioned is that's kind of like a fleshy orange kind of smell apples yeah oranges raisins everything that's real kind of like a nice sweet taste to it and those grapes are really shining through from the uh, barrel that has been chilling out in the red red grape all those you know all that those characteristics from the wine are really shining through really you can smell them and they smell awesome all right guys let's go ahead and give it a sip and uh, we'll see what we think so here we go okay there's a lot of different characteristics that are shining through here okay first off with it being in a barrel this beer I'm getting the the wood factor like the barrel the you know the oaky smoky kind of you know uh, taste You're, I'm kinda getting that so when it comes to hey this beer has been in a barrel before it's been fermented it's been chilling in there you could taste it. You could taste the oakiness. You can taste that woody kind of character. That's there. Wow. Like a there's a okay. So with the fruit, you kind of get that fruit flavor, nice and uh, you know nice and sweet. And then you get almost like a some sort of caramel taste that just hacks through that so you know you're just kind of riding along right you know hey what up I'm apples and oranges and stuff that's really cool and then boom caramel just slash a caramel right in your palate it really I don't it's weird it's just like hey what up apples fruits you know stuff like that and then the next moment it's caramel sweetness it's got that very quick taste that comes over your palate but it's awesome this is, this is a really good beer so far. All right, let's get another sip. Let's see what we can taste. Holy smokes, you guys. I don't even know where to start with this. Um, just that combination of the fruit, the caramel, and those woody, that woody oakiness from the barrel. It just... 
Wow. It, 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 it honestly comes in sections. It's like apples and oranges, and then like pears maybe. Almost, I feel like there's some sort of pear in there. Um, then you get a caramel taste. Then you get a little bit of bitterness. And then you get that that barrel oakiness in here. So it's almost like in four parts, you know, four different parts of this beer are in this. And then it, it's just all, but they, it's weird because as you drink it, it's very abrupt. Each taste starts and ends very abruptly. But as you drink it, as it comes in and you finish it, you get all that at once. And it's actually really, really awesome. Let's see. Um, this beer has gotten a lot of good ratings, so I'm happy to see that. And uh, this is our first beer from Anchorage, so I'm thinking this is a quality, quality beer, you guys. Yeah, that's really good. The wine is really starting to shine right now. The, the wine barrels. Um, that taste and that characteristic is really shining through. And it's making for a very nice, quality, crisp taste. So, if you guys have had this, this is Love Buzz from the Anchorage Brewing Company. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And uh, like this video if you enjoyed watching this review today. I greatly appreciate it. My small community is slowly growing, and I appreciate that. So if you guys have some friends who are interested in beer, beer reviews, send them over to this guy. My name is Steve. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and if you're new to the channel, again, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, final rating for this beer, you guys, this is going to probably be, this is going to be a 4.5 out of 5. Really quality beer, lots of taste going on, lots of different flavors and complexities going on, but it's it's a good balance in between all of that. And it's a very abrupt kind of balance, but it's good and it works. So this is our second beer of the two three part barrel age series. Quality beer here, you guys. Go pick up some love love buzz. I think you'll like it. Thank you for watching this episode, and we will see you on the next episode. Cheers.